Thank you, Estelle, Madame la Présidente. Thank you, Madame l'Ambassadrice. Je suis très honoré d'être là. Uh, Michael, it's a great, great chance to have you with us as President of Positive Planet for UK and many of our distinguished capacities and all my friends. I know a lot of people in this room. It's a great chance for me to be here and to be uh, here to represent uh, this foundation, Positive Planet, on which I'm happy that you could bet and help us do what we do, which is to try to help people uh, to get out of difficulties and not depend on charity anymore, but create their own life. Uh, Positive Planet exists since more than 15 years. We, we work in more than 50 countries and uh, we do a good job. And today we will focus on a specific program on, on Madagascar. We'll say something about it in a minute. <coughs> Here in this room, uh, you, you are gathered by the uh, umbrella of the uh, French Chamber of, and this is a very important umbrella because uh, French people here uh, represent, I must say, what I think is the best of France, which is uh, boldness, entrepreneurship, creativity, uh, uh, sense of uh, the future, uh, capacity of, understand, of understanding of the world, and to look at France as one dimension of the world and not as a small, uh, narrow territory. You also think, which is not very often the case in France, that the scandal is not to be rich, but the scandal is to be poor and that it's more important to help people not to be poor anymore than to fight against people who are rich, which I think is uh, the core of the uh, real values of the future. And it's not by chance that you are here in, in London, because uh, one of the main reasons of the success of UK compared to the less buoyant situation of France is that you here in UK, have a, have a country have chosen to, to uh, put the main city and the capital in a, a port next to the sea, while we have decided to put it in the middle of nowhere, Paris. <laughs> <coughs> and when we are in the middle of nowhere, we, uh, we are not open to the others. On the contrary, we are closed. We do not consider the others are welcome. By the way, when your friend, uh, I mean to my British friends, Napoleon decided to create the different structure of the French administration, he didn't put any strong administration in the port. The port were controlled, which means that we, are, we were afraid of whatever was coming from abroad, not only foreigners, but uh, ideas, innovation. It's why French is changing only through revolutions, while UK and other, many other countries are changing with uh, uh, day by day, by, by reforms and by uh, small uh, change which come from Abroad. Don't forget here, and that's maybe the day to think about it, that the chance of UK, the wealth of UK, the assets of UK are foreigners. Ideas coming from abroad, people for coming from abroad, which are really the chance of this country. Now the world is in a very specific uh, uh, situation today, uh, and of course today is a very specific day before um, a very important event which is a very, very strange moment. If we look from a uh, point of view of someone which will speak in uh, 100 years, if there is a world in 100 years, um, we'll say that it's a very strange moment because the, the world is full of trumps, huge progress and a lot of new technologies coming which will change everything in terms of energy, uh, access to food, access to water, access to anything which is needed. Demography, which is a, a strong asset for the world because we are going to be able to have more people to produce, to consume, to create a, a, a better world. Uh, a lot of new ideas, a lot of people coming with a higher education, uh, reduction of poverty in a lot of places. Everything is in place for a possible wonderful world. Actually, it was already the case at the end of the 18th century and at the end of the 19th century. And as we know, at the end of the 18th century, we had a 30 years of war, and at the end of the 19th century, we had 75 years of war, from 1914 to 1989, which is exactly the kind of crossroads we are today. Either we, uh, we understand that it's better to go beyond and to continue to think that it's better to accept the others and to take the best of what is coming from the others as we have done in the last 50 years in Europe, or if we decide that the world is too dangerous, 
but what are uh, some problems are also problems. If we look at what the media shows to us, which are show to us, which is mainly the problems and not the solutions, the crimes and not the uh, heroes of uh, daily life. Uh, if we continue to think that whatever is around us is just a threat, we are going to do once again what we did at the end of the 18th century and the end of the 19th century, which is to close our borders, to decide that we are better alone and that uh, alone uh, will be best. And then we'll come back to what was all in those times the uh, core of the ideology which was and which is today uh, destroying ideology, which is based on two pillars. One, uh, me first, me alone. Second, it was better before. If we uh, build on that, and a lot of people are build, building on that, this is the recipe for disaster. Uh, as a very famous British historian, Barbara Tuckman said in his book, in her book, uh, The March of Folly, it's a recipe for suicide. And we all face that. We all face the situation where it's easiest, the easiest way to behave is to think that me first is the solution, that the others are a threat and not a solution, and we are better if we close our borders. We, we do that in France. We see a lot of reason to do it. We do that everywhere in Poland, Turkey, uh, uh, Venezuela, and UK, in my view, will be the last country to do it. We should do it, but it's up to you to decide. And as I said, many countries have decided to commit suicide, and it can happen to all of us. It's a danger for any country. It's up to us to avoid it. The uh, lesson of history demonstrates that uh, this is the most probable because we did it already twice in the last two centuries and we can do it again. But if we do it again, it will be worse than to do two other times because it will be with other tools, other technologies, a, a larger population in the world, more tools to destroy and more uh, catastrophe are coming. Of course, nothing is irreversible. Even if France get a, a populist president one day, if UK decide to uh, leave, nothing is really irreversible. But whatever we decide to move in, in one step, which is a bad step, is more difficult to come back. Actually, the, the, the real challenge that we face is, a, is, a, is an ideological challenge. Either we say uh, it's better to be alone and to uh, protect our borders and to avoid the others, because it was better before. Or we say, uh, it, can be better, it can be better in the future. And uh, we need the others. The success of the others is good for us. Uh, we need the success of the others. Which is actually obviously true. Uh, even if you use this sentence saying by, I think it was Bernard Shaw, he said that Napoleon was supposed to say that you are a nation of shopkeepers which I think was Bernard Shaw quoting Napoleon with not a real talk, but what is a shopkeeper? He says someone who believes that the, uh, uh, the happiness of his customer is good for himself. Uh, anyone which has a customer must think that the happiness of a customer is good for himself, which means that we have in int an, a strong interest in the happiness of the others. Is this a condition of our own happiness? It's what, what I call selfish altruism, <laughs> which is a kind of oxymoron, but it's really fundamental. And I think the crossroads of ideologies of today is that. Are we going to be short-sighted and think that we must be purely selfish and don't care about the others? Are we going to let the migrants dying in the seas? Are we going to let people uh, starving everywhere and then come to us? Are we going to say that the other people are not good for us and their, their ideas is not good for us? Or are we going to see that this is very important for us to develop Africa? Let's take the example of Africa. If we take the world in 2050, I don't have to say more in this very uh, 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 sophisticated audience, but you know that the world is 7 billion people. It will be 9 billion in 2050. The most important change will be that we'll go from 
one billion of Africans to two billion in Afri of Africans, and one of these two billions will be below 18. Which means that either we're able to help them to develop and to, to create their own activities, or they will come to us. Brexit or no Brexit, doesn't matter. They will find their way. Then it is our selfish interest to uh, help these countries to develop. Even if we don't want to be uh, purely ideologic, naive, uh, oriented by our heart, but really if you want to be rational, we need to do it. And I do think also that technology is pushing us in that direction. Internet, collaborative economy is really helping us to understand that we have an interest in networking. We have an interest in the success of the others. It happens to be that exactly what we try to do in Positive Planet by helping people to develop in order to stay in their countries, what we do in Lebanon where we help these uh, Syrian refugees to stabilize and create their own business. It's what we do and what we are, uh, I hope you will support today in Madagascar when we help with a lot of support from companies such as Sanofi and others to uh, provide insurance scheme to poor people that produce a lot of agricultural projects in order to get enough resources to have health. Because when you are poor and you get ill, you get back to poverty immediately. And then insurance scheme is a condition for a stabilization of welcome, of income and stabilization of dignity. That's a small uh, token. And if you participate to this event tonight, if you give something to that, that will be a humble way to say, I believe in selfish altruism. I believe that it's important for me to help the others and that will be a success for the, uh, the quality of life of your children. Thank you very much.